Wondering why I have both the Logitech K780 and K380 keyboards? No, it's not because I like Logitech very much. I made a mistake buying K380 and eventually I had to buy the K780. Now don't get me wrong, K380 is a good portable keyboard. It's just me making a silly choice, trying to save money. I'll explain why in this video. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. A while ago, I was searching for a wireless keyboard to use at work. I really like the K780, but I went with the K380 because it's half the price and K380 is pretty much the same as K780, isn't it? I thought to myself, it's the same keyboard just without the numeric keypad. I don't think I'll use the numeric keypad much anyway, so I'll just leave without it. With just one keyboard, I can use both at the office and on the go. Isn't this brilliant? In less than a week, I regretted not going for the K780. I'm a power user when it comes to using Microsoft Windows, and I use lots of keyboard's shortcuts to be productive at work. Notice on the K780, there is this small lock icon on the escape key and the print screen icon on the delete key. Now let me zoom in a little bit for all of you. They are on the K780 but not on the K380. It just so happened that I'm using them all the time. And I don't have them when I use the K380 as my office desktop keyboard. So what's the big deal with this, and how do I use them? Whenever I walk away from my desk, I can easily lock my desktop computer by pressing Function Escape. And I can't do this on K380. And with the print screen functions on the Delete key, whenever I want to take a screenshot of my current active windows on the desktop, I can easily hit Function Alt Delete to copy that window as an image onto my clipboard. And then I can paste that image anywhere, like on a Word document or Google document, or paste it straight to Teams and Slack chat applications, or paste it on Windows Paint in order to add arrows to point to areas of the screenshot. And I can't do all this if I use my K380 as my desktop keyboard. The other difference between the two keyboards is that the K380 does not come with a USB receiver. K380 can only connect using Bluetooth. So what does that mean? That means I need to buy another Bluetooth dongle to connect to my desktop because my desktop does not have the Bluetooth capability. Now K780 not only comes with a USB receiver, it even has a compartment in the battery area for us to keep that USB receiver. Up next is the size of the keyboard. Now, I don't mean the physical size, but the size of the keys and the key spacing. Notice the keys on the K380 are slightly smaller and narrower. It's actually shallower too, and lesser key travel when we type. Typing on the K780 is a lot more comfortable and I can let my muscle memory take over because the size and spacing of the K780 is similar to a full-size conventional keyboard. It's not that the K380 is a lot smaller and unusable, it's just that the claustrophobic feeling of typing can sometimes kick in, especially when you have a big desk space, I often ask myself, why am I squeezing and typing on such a small keyboard when my desk still has so much space? There are also slight differences with the function keys. They both have 15 keys on the top row, but only one key is different. The K780 has a search key, while the K380 has an Android application switch key. The rest of the keys are pretty much the same. And as for the differences, the rest of the differences are aesthetic differences, like the positions of the lights and the positions of the switch. And obviously, K780 has a numeric keypad and a tablet or phone stand. 
So yes, if you are like me, thinking K380 is about the same as K780, maybe consider the points I've just mentioned earlier. Now, K780 is a good portable keyboard, but if you want to use it all day as a desktop keyboard, I suggest going for the K780. To me, I feel both of these keyboards are still the best multi-device keyboards on the market in 2021. Personally, the portable keyboard I'm carrying around currently is this new Lexi Bluetooth keyboard. It's not a multi-device keyboard, so I can only connect it to one device, which is my Galaxy Tab S6. What I like about this new Lexi keyboard over the Logitech K380 portable keyboard is that it has a very innovative magnetic case that protects the keyboard and can act as a tablet stand. When compared to the K380, it's a lot more portable and compact. And of course, a lot more claustrophobic to type on too. Hey everyone, you don't have to continue to watch this video if you don't want to. The rest of this video is all about my YouTube channel. I go straight to the main content at the beginning of this video and leave my channel promotion at the end so that all of you can get the content fast. If you appreciate this way of fast content delivery, let me know in the comments down below so I can do this in future videos for you. I want to thank all of you who have supported my channel by subscribing and liking my videos. Throughout the last few months, my channel has been growing fast and it's amazing to see so many of you subscribing. I started this channel just for fun and to share my knowledge. I didn't expect to see over hundreds of subscribers. Thanks for supporting my work and letting me know you value my content. For me, the best part of having this channel is I get to know so many of you from all over the world. If you are new to my channel, welcome and please consider subscribing. On my channel, I share stories of my tech gear and how I use technology to simplify my life. I hope my content is useful and can reach as many people as possible. Okay, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.